Welcome, and today we're going to talk about mutations. Mutations are changes to the DNA within our body, which can be both helpful and harmful. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the mutations that happen to your genes, which are slightly different to your chromosomal mutations, mutations that happen specifically to the chromosomes. We're going to talk about what mutagens are, and finally, helpful versus harmful effects, because there are some helpful mutations also. So the first thing are gene mutations. There are two types of gene mutations. Two types of gene mutations are point. It happens at one point. It changes one point within your DNA strand, and that's it. Or frame shift mutations. And frame shift mutations are actually going to take and shift everything down. So what happens, if you remember from trans, um, translation, when we read our codons, we read every three bases. So if we take and change and shift everything down one, it's going to change everything that we read from that point after. So it's going to shift everything. There's one type of point mutation called a substitution. So this is where we're just going to trade one for another. And then you can have both an insertion or a deletion for frame shift mutations. I have some examples down here below. We're going to take a look at our original strand. Our original strand right here reads ATTC, AGC, ACC, ACG, C, A. When we make a substitution, and I've done the substitutions or, or the mutations in, an, in a different color so you can see what we have, you'll notice that all these letters are the same up until we reach the point of the substitution. Now we changed the G and substituted it with an A. And everything after that point is also the same. Point mutations are sometimes some of the uh, simplest mutations, and they sometimes have no effect at all within our bodies. Okay. Other mutations, however, can have major effects within our body. You'll notice here that we have an insertion. And everything before the point of the mutation and after the point of the mutation looks like it's correct. We have A, T, T, C, and if we avoid the mutation, it's A, G, C, A, C, everything's good. But we have a mutation in here and we added an A. And what happens if you're going to read every three letters for a codon is you're going to notice that we have every three letters here as a codon. But when we get down here, our ATT is good. But then when we get to the next codon, we have CAA, which is not what we had up here. The next one, GCA, not what we had up here, which means it's going to code for a different amino acid. CCA, CAC, going to code for a different amino acid. This one is also. So what's happening is we're making all these, made, it's a major change within our DNA. It's going to produce a completely different protein, and we're going to have major issues within our body with, a, with, a, with an insertion. Same thing with a deletion. We remove the A here. So this A right here, we removed between the C and the G down here. And as you look at this, this first codon is good, ATT. But this next one, CGC is not. Then we have ACC, which was not a, a codon up here. ACG, and then our last one, we actually only have two bases for. Okay, Our bases would go longer. Our mRNA strand would be longer. But a frame shift mutation makes major changes to the amino acid chain and a point shift mutation only affects that one point and it can be a very small change within our bodies. So these are gene mutations. They affect one base, okay? It's one base added, deleted from an entire strand of DNA. The next one are chromosomal mutations. In chromosomal mutations, there are four different chromosomal mutations. This affects the entire chromosome. So, we're going to have multiple genes on each chromosome, and if we affect the chromosome, we can have some major effects to our system also. We can delete an entire gene. 
So instead of just one base, we're talking an entire gene getting deleted. We can have a duplication of those genes. We can have an inversion where we take genes and put them in the wrong places. Or we have what's called translocation and we actually get genes from a different chromosome on a, on a set chromosome. So let's say here we have our original chromosome. Our original chromosome has the, has the genes A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Okay. If we delete it, we're going to lose a G, an entire gene. So now we only have A, C, D, E, F, G. So what's going to happen is whatever that gene coded for is going to become a problem within our body because we're not going to have that coding for that gene. We could also end up with a duplication. We're just taking a gene and making a copy of it, inserting it right at the same place. So at this point we have A, B, C, D, E, E, F, G. So now we have two copies of the gene. This could be a problem or it could not have an effect at all, depending on what the gene is and depending on if our RNA is going to try to recognize E as F because it's, at the F is supposed to come after E and we're not supposed to have two E's. So those could be some mistakes in there. An inversion would be where we take two and switch them. So here we have A, B, C, D, F, E, and G. This could be a problem because our RNA polymerase, when it's trying to read a protein or read the DNA strand, might be trying to code for E, but it ends up coding for F because it's in the wrong place. Okay, So that could become a problem. Translocation is where we take a piece from another chromosome and we add it to, the, to, the, to this chromosome. So we have our A, B, C, D, E, H, I, F, G. So what happened was we added two new genes to this chromosome that shouldn't be here and should be on a different chromosome. With this, they're not going to know where to find these genes. Our body isn't. okay? And it also might mistake these genes for our F and G because F is supposed to come after E. So we could end up with some of those problems also within our body. So mutations could, can cause problems. Some can not cause problems, others can. Okay? And we'll talk about some of those in a bit. So, the effects of mutations. First of all, the term mutagen. A mutagen is something in the environment or a chemical or something that actually causes the mutation within our body. So we could have something that caused the mutation that wasn't naturally within our body. Chemicals, radiation, other environmental things that happen. So anything that causes a mutation is called a mutagen. Some mutations are harmful. They can cause diseases, they can cause disorders, and they can cause issues within the body. For instance, cancer is an issue of a mutation. We have a mutation to certain genes that control the cell cycle, and the cell cycle goes out of control, and then you have cancer. Cystic fibrosis is a gene mutation. There's one specific spot on a gene that coat, um, that causes cystic fibrosis. Huntington's disease is also one. And then Down syndrome is another one that's actually um, when you have too many chromosomes in your body and we're going to talk about that a little bit later. So these are all harmful ones because your, your body is not going to be normal like it needs, uh, like a normal body would be. It causes changes to that body. Helpful ones actually help and allow something to survive better. Helpful mutations happen all the time in bacteria and insects. Insects can become resistant to pesticides. This is why we continually, whenever we're using pesticides, a lot of times you have to change them or you have to alter them. Uh, viruses, for instance, the flu virus. This is why every year you have to get a, um, a new flu virus because the flu virus mutates and changes form so that the old um, immunization isn't going to work anymore. <coughs> Excuse me. And finally, another one that in humans is that 
we actually can get help with increasing our bone mass. Um, there was a mutation in some humans that actually gives them an increase in bone mass, which helps keep them prevent um, from getting, you know, bad breaks and things when a normal person would have bad breaks. So some are helpful with mutations and some are harmful. So this is mutations within our body.